so I'm Dave, I'm the director of Block Projects. Our vision is to create a permeable, accessible, but also a critical space for contemporary art within Sheffield, but also more regionally and nationally. Um, we work with early to mid-career artists to provide them with a really close support network and development opportunity. Um, we do this through commissioning new work predominantly, but also working on events and talks and workshops, mainly in our gallery, but also off-site. Uh, over the last 12 months, we've had the opportunity to work with around 100 different artists. And these act this activity has reached around 20,000 people, both locally, regionally, nationally, but also internationally with projects in places such as Madrid in Spain. And we also have plans to do projects in Bergen in Norway. Here at Block Projects, we work with early to mid-career artists and we're really fortunate to have the capacity to spend a long time developing a really personal relationship with all the artists that we work with. Work with Block on the exhibition was really great. It felt like a really natural process and they were really accommodated my ideas and I sort of met with Dave, the curator, and throughout planning the exhibition and he was really nurturing through the whole process. It was great to work with Lucy. We managed to give her her first solo show in the UK Lucy is a Sheffield-based artist and here at Block Project we're really keen to develop local talent. Working with Block really helped me as an artist and I think it helped the development of my practice because I'd sort of had a few vague ideas and I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with them and through their support I was able to realise those ideas really and test something out that I hadn't tried before. It was really exciting to work with artist Joey Holder on a current show in the gallery. It's really important for us here at Block Projects to work with artists that are dealing with really current issues in society and this is definitely present within Joey's work. It's been really great here because of the length of time that we've had to work on the project together. We've had lots of like in-depth conversations about the project um, and yeah, I think that that's absolutely paramount that that happens to for the work to be kind of supported because um, I feel like the block have really, um, yeah, uh, wanted to kind of like really understand the, the research and the underpinnings of the project like from the start and that's continued all the way through. The rest of the board and myself are really delighted about the direction of travel for Block this last year. We were able to appoint a new director who's developed some really distinctive exhibitions in the space and beyond and we also were able to expand the staff team with a new curator who's developing a public programme based around artist professional development. We have investigated the local with a local heritage project and open ground and also we're starting to work internationally with an exchange programme with Bergen in, in Norway. Um, and the, the board and myself are really excited for uh, the work we're going to do on the, the development of the programme in future. Uh, my name is Hannah, um, I've been working with Block for the last six months now as part of the Fine Art Bursary Scheme. Um, it's been really helpful for me because it's shown me sort of how to run a gallery and I've been learning a lot about programming, but then also the sort of funding side and applications as well. It's been great working here, working with Dave and Kerry, um, because they've really helped me uh, to learn about working in the art world, including like writing applications. Dave's really helped me um, structuring applications for things, and Kerry's shown me a lot about programming and talking to artists as well. My name is uh, Kerry, and I'm the public programs curator here at Block and I manage uh, the programme of talks, workshops and events for the local community and maybe the broader public as well. The programme is called Salon 18 and uh, it's hosted on Wednesday evenings here and it's free and it focuses on the professional development of emerging to mid-career artists I would say but also welcomes a broader public to Block. Public programme at Block's great because it brings a lot of different artists to Sheffield, a lot of different types of events heard about other people's practice and made connections with other artists. It's been useful for me because of the diverse range of, of, of artists and, and practices. So rather than being um, stuck in my own way of painting, which I can be quite easily, these things invite me to be open to change, which I really appreciate. Highlights this year already have been uh, Liv Winter's talk, so she's an amazing activist, artist, um, campaigns a lot for women's rights and vulnerable women's rights, so that was really amazing. Also we launched the programme with a fermenting workshop by this artist called Sean Roy Parker and those kind of practical workshops where everybody can be involved in a discursive way and learn new skills is something that I think really... Um, exemplifies the importance of the public programme 
and is offers something different to the exhibitions programme. Block is special because they work hard to include and represent diverse individuals and audiences in their public programme. I feel like we recognise a really different audience coming to Brock and there's a new and different audience kind of every week and it's great to see the familiar faces who are returning but it's also just fantastic to see these see these new faces who have come across what we're doing through the range of and the diversity of events that we're putting on here. Um, so I'm really excited to see how that continues into next year and how our community expands. It's really important for us here at Block to have audience feedback about our programme and it really does factor into what we do because we want it to be as responsive as possible to the people visiting the gallery. So we want to uh, do this through lots of personal conversations but also lots of feedback via our website and various different um, means. I'd just like to say a huge thank you to all the people who have visited us over the last 12 months and hopefully you'll come back again for another visit.